Hi everyone. Today I would like to discuss. I sh I feel I should share this particular paper with everyone. How to conduct a bibliometric analysis and overview and guidelines. I have received number of research scholars. They were asking me, ma'am, bibliometric analysis because recently I have taken one session on bibliometric analysis uh, at Delhi University. They were also asking how we can conduct a proper systematic way to conduct a bibliometric analysis. So that is a very relevant paper and very good paper has been written by Naveen sir, Satish sir and Vanma Klin sir. Uh, so this paper was published in Journal of Business Research and it is a very high quality standard journal and you can see if this paper is easily available uh, that is available free of cost without any charges it's available through google scholar also you can download otherwise i will attach this paper i will give you access of this paper also in my description box so first of all we would understand well defined here what is bibliometric analysis and why it is relevant this bibliometric analysis and uh, here is what is the relevance of bibliometric analysis? Now you can see a scholar to gain a one-step overview, identify, identify knowledge gaps. What is the relevance of bibliometric analysis? Drive novel idea for investigation. And fourth one is position that in that intended contribution in the field. So here is a well-defined. Then further is if we will talk about here is paper aimed to offer an overview of the bibliometric methodology and step-by-step -step guidelines. That's important. Further, we can come to the, the next part, bibliometric methodology. How you are going to start bibliometric analysis? What is Because it is a quantitative technique and that we can call it citation analysis also. And... Uh, this one is the how we can gather the data that's important because there are some databases through which you can collect your data and uh, you can use your keywords either you are using a scopus database or web of science database so you can use your keywords relevant keywords on which you are you want to do your review paper and bibliometric analysis so what you have to do you can download you can insert all these keywords and after that you can download this uh, .csv file and there is you can see um since a very good statement he, he has written the, I mean, authors has written, since meta-analysis and bibliometric analysis are both quantitative in nature, the distinction between the two methods can be confusing to some scholars. To shed light on these distinctions, business scholars should note that their quantitative methods are relatively different in terms of usage, though they can both handle large amount of literature Specifically, meta-analysis concentrates on summarizing empirical evidence by analyzing the direction and strength of effects and relationships among variables and is useful in addressing open research questions with data that are closer to definitive, uh, definitively than those reported in any single primary study. So further is, you can see, Bibliometric Analysis Technique Toolbox, third section of this paper. Technique for Bibliometric Analysis manifest. There are two categories. One is Performance Analysis and the one is Science Mapping. So here is Science Mapping, focusing on the relationship between the research constituents. So you can see in the figure two also, Performance Analysis examines the contribution of research constituents to a given field. So this is the analysis. You can see this is table one, comparison of major review methods. And it's a very good table like bibliometric analysis, meta-analysis, systematic literature analysis review. So this is the most frequently asked question by the scholars and by the researchers also. What is the difference among 
these three techniques bibliometric analysis meta analysis and systematic literature review where we can apply systematic literature review where we can apply meta analysis where we can apply bibliometric analysis so scope data set because bibliometric analysis number of times we said large data set is required meta analysis large small but adequate and here is slr you can do on a small database also that is qualitative evaluation and interpretation that is in nature but both these methods are quantitative this one is we can say bibliometric is quantitative evaluation and interpretation as well as qualitative only interpretation but this method meta analysis you can say quantitative evaluation interpretation because we are applying some statistical analysis also on meta analysis so you can understand bibliometric analysis are well defined this is the uh, main techniques and enrichment techniques here is performance analysis and science mapping that is categorized in two parts and enrichment here is you can see analysis anal enrichment techniques that is network analysis through which because we can check degree of centrality between centrality eigenvector centrality all these things clustering also we can see efa hierarchical clustering each and everything and visualization how what are the software through which we can do visualization you can see and uh, that part is i like it most in this paper where it is given at the one place bibliometric through r web excel gaffi paging this one is a uh, uci net was viewer sai mat and sa2 you can see and uh, here is science mapping citation analysis co citation analysis bibliographic coupling co word analysis co authorship analysis publication related matrix each and everything and uh, number of contributing authors self authored publication citation related matrix citation and publication related matrix each and everything h index g index and i index everything has been given so then we come to the here is the what is science mapping science mapping examines the relationship between the research constituents so this analysis pertains to the intellectual interaction and structural connections among research constituents so through this citation analysis also you can do bibliographic what do you mean by bibliographic coupling well defined here and matrix for performance analysis what could be the matrix through which you can do performance analysis so it is already given total citation average citation co-authored cit publications these are the matrix through which and how we can important part is how we can calculate so collaboration index is nc divided by tp and divided by tp so that is extent to collaboration of the research constituents and that's the most important thing why uh, because you i think every author those are doing uh, bibliometric analysis they must they can refer this paper and they can cite this paper also so i mean uh, they can define because uh, broadly it has been explained h index g index and i10 and other terminology also and cp pcp etc next we come to the here is co-authorship this one is the sample ranking of publication according to different centrality measures it has been defined well and uh, further is bibliometric analysis enrichment toolbox so network matrix what is network matrix how we can between the centrality how you can calculate this is the proper formula has been given and next we come to the clustering how we can do clustering and all so sample table for publication ranking according to this one is right and uh, this is the through was viewer this diagram through was viewer they had created and um, and and because that is written here was viewer and visualization overt keyword occurrence network visualization is the well defined here further is the uh, this one is also this one is a example of the covert and network visualization using gaffi that is also very important uh, i will i will give you link all the uh, softwares i had already uploaded video on gaffi i had already uploaded video on was viewer uploaded video on r studio i mean this one is the bibliometric analysis through biblio shiny so all these things this paper also i had already explained you uh, aria paper and uh, so finally what the author said um 
the paper demonstrate the bibliomatic analysis is a scientific method that can be useful for both established and emerging scholars who wish to pursue a retrospective of broad and rich areas in business and such. So I hope uh, this video would be helpful to you. So keep watching and stay tuned. Mm -hmm. And uh, please refer this paper also. And I will, I'm giving you link of this paper in my description box. So thank you.